In today's tutorial, the little character from Among Us again, but less weaving with the 350. Let's get to it. Ha <laughs> ha How appropriate with the little Santa hat on. Um, if you ever played the game, you realize that you can have all different types of little hats and accessories on the characters, but I thought this would be fitting as we have our Christmas season coming up. Why not put a little Santa's hat on our Among Us characters. So, um, I actually, if for some of you who haven't played the game, I put a picture up in the last one that I showed what we did with some weaving with it. But I skipped the weaving with the 350 and go and went ahead and put it on a bracelet. So I think that'll be a cool thing. Um, but let me just show you uh, just a quick little clip of gameplay so you can kind of get an idea about what this game is about. So let's take a look at that. You ever watch people play it online? It's kind of funny too the way uh, they they you know uh, argue back and forth and uh, start to start to suspect one another uh, during the game. So anyway, um, uh, let me go ahead before I move forward with the twisting and show you what balloons we're going to use for it. Um, let me go ahead and invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to visit the Teespring uh, shop so you can get yourself some merch. I got my blue shirt on today, and I should have my next shirt that says Party Time on it. Um, party time it should be here probably this upcoming week i believe i'll have to go back and check uh all the details and stuff so anyway uh yeah like, yeah like i said let's go ahead and get to the uh balloons we're going to use to make this okay so here they are we have our uh you know you see all our inflated balloons there i have a yellow 350 that's our nice chunky one that's going to do all the work for us when it comes time to make the body okay i'm going to use gray for the little visor uh we use uh white and red that's going to be for our santa hat um, I have, oh, and you know what? I didn't inflate a green, uh, and a green's gonna be here also, and it's just gonna be for the base. Um, you can see it right here. It's just six petals, or six loops, okay, for the bottom, and then you see the rubber band there for the bracelet piece. And then um, I am going to use these uh, Ooglu dashes. Um, let's see, Ooglu, Ooglu, I can never decide. Okay, from here on out, I will decide. I'm gonna be, uh, I will go with you glue camp. I'll go, I'll be in the you glue camp. Okay. For everybody else that's like you glue, I'll say you glue, right? So anyway, I have some of those and, uh, let me just hold them up just for a second. Maybe you can catch it. There's one right down here. So it's a little, it's just a little, little glue, uh, square and it's going to help the hat stick on there real easy. Okay. So let me go ahead and put this over to the side. By the way, if you need to get some of those, um, I do have a link to those in the description below. Okay. Alrighty, and that's uh, one way when you buy them through that link, you help out the channel that way too, okay? So let me go ahead and put this away for now, and we'll go ahead and start with our yellow, and we'll build the rest of it from there, okay? And I'll get that green one here in just a moment, um, but first let's start with uh, our yellow. See, let's do about a hand's grip there, and then we'll do a pinch twist. There we go. Get another squish, there we go. And we'll do about another hand's grip, that's pretty good, and then we'll do another pinch twist. So you'll see it's a really simple balloon. This tutorial won't be long. I probably took more time talking to you about it than actually the twisting. Okay, so there we go. I'm just matching these two up. And I'm just gonna go right back this way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull on this, all of this right here, make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'll go ahead and wrap this all the way around here. There we go. So we got like something like this, okay? Just a nice little squish. And we're just gonna go over the top here. And we're connecting, uh, we're going this way and we're connecting to that pinch twist right there. Alrighty, so I think I like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, let me go around a couple times here. Good, so you can see we're pretty much already done with this piece. And the reason um, I wanted to do it, of course, I, like I said at the intro of this video, um, is just that our holiday season is not too far away. So for any of you guys, uh, you know, you want to always be offering your client something else. Um, this is something simple that you can do that looks really cool and cute and is appropriate for the holiday season. So let me go ahead and tear this guy off. There we go. Good. Okay. Tie that little buddy. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There you go. Oh, and please comment. If you're playing this game, comment with uh, your favorite accessory to put on uh, your little character. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and do, I'm going to go with the gray. And I'm just measuring it across there. I'm doing about, uh, again, about four fingers there. 
I'm just gonna match this guy up. Okay, and I just pulled the nozzle through there to help lock it in place. So I'll go ahead and tie it. Okay, and we don't need the rest of this, so we can go turn that baby off. There you go. And for me. <laughs> All righty, so. You know, normally when I when I do this, I will throw that piece at you, and for me, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to those. Okay, and so now all I did is I just jammed it inside there. You can see it looks the same on either side. And today, actually, because I'm adding the hats, I'm gonna skip the backpack, okay? But uh, by all means, you know, because you have, if you get those little U-glue dashes, um, you will uh, be able to stick on a backpack, no problem. So um, let me go ahead and get ready to build the hat. But first, um, we should go ahead and build a, a quick, out of green, build a base so we can stick this on too, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. Give me just one moment. Ah, there we go, good, we're ready. All right, now I can attach the two. I'm just gonna, I left this long piece right here because I tied these to the bottom now because I simply wrap this through there. And I'm gonna go all the way back up through the legs again. There we go, that's good. And it looks like, um, ooh, I hate to speak so soon, but we'll see if this happens that um, I think some restrictions might be lifted uh, for my restaurant that I used to go to. So I may get a chance to go back to um, bal balloon twisting in a restaurant uh, in December. So we'll see if everything plays out okay. Um, and then hopefully I can get back there and that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm um, gonna stretch this guy out. I'm gonna go ahead and add our bracelet piece on the bottom here. There you go. And someone mentioned um, in the comments below that hair tie is a good way to go too. So because it won't pull your hair. So um, that's actually really cool. Okay, so if you have, uh, you know, I have kind of like a medium amount of hair, not a crazy amount of hair on my wrist, uh, but if for anybody's out there and you got a super hairy wrist, or you give it to somebody, you notice they got a super hairy wrist, uh, maybe a uh, rubber band might pull their hair. So, good tip, okay? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get, not that, our red and our white uh, up here so we can get ready to make ourselves uh, our hat. So I'm gonna do about uh, four fingers. Pull that nozzle through there. Do a pinch twist. And I'm doing about two fingers there for that pinch twist when I measure the bubble. Give it a good twist there. Alrighty. And we can go ahead and break off the rest of this. Don't need it. Going right here. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna pass around and I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna lock it in place there. Okay, there we go. So make sure I don't lose that. So this is what we have. This is gonna create the little ball for the hat and then the uh, brim, okay? Or whatever that piece is, I'm not sure. Okay, all right. And now what I'm gonna do, normally what we would do is we would anchor this to something or somewhere, but I want this sitting right on top of the head here. I don't want it off to the side or anything, and I don't wanna segment this at all. So I'm gonna make it so I can uh, put it on there, no problem. So what I'm gonna do is just hold here, okay? See that? I'm just pinching the little nozzle there, and I'm gonna go around uh, this guy here, okay? So let's go around, I'm gonna go around twice. Good, okay. And now what I can do is, uh, now I can decide like how much I want to go in here, because it's gonna go down inside here, alrighty? So let me go ahead and just feed this through here for our hat. Obviously that's gonna be way too big. I like that right there, that looks pretty good, okay? And you can see we got a nice little uh, ball. Actually, what is that? if you see it trying to go, like come undone like a little bit, I would just turn it so it comes undone, so that way it loosens us up a little bit, so it's not trying to resist the whole time. Okay, that's the last thing you want to have to keep adjusting your work over and over and over. So, uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist down here. See that? And I'm gonna twist right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it off down here when I do that. And now I can actually tie, I wanna tie all the way here. I don't want to let that go because what'll happen is, um, as soon as I let that go, that'll untwist itself and the air will flow into that and you'll get this like long string of balloon like coming along here and I don't want that, okay? And uh, you wouldn't either, I'm guessing. But now I have this piece here that I can actually attach over here. So I'm holding my thumb here so none of this slides towards the little ball here. And now I can go ahead and wrap that around, just secure it, okay? There we go, okay. So that way uh, this piece isn't trying to pop back out, okay? And we're gonna put our little glue dash, we're actually gonna put it right there and then we can stick it on to the top of the little spaceman's hat, okay? Alrighty, so. Okay, there it is. So 
Uh, I'm just going to take this little guy and I'm gonna stick it right there. So we see we have this little plastic side that sits on there so you can pinch it. And actually what happened is they don't cut them exactly with the sticky substance. And so you, uh, you'll be able to separate the two. You can peel this back off once you put it on there, wherever you're gonna put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on here and I'll hold it up here so you can see. There we go, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and peel this guy off. I can I used to I used to think I was strong until this guy oh here we go okay all right so yeah so it might res resist a little bit but just keep pulling on it um you know if the balloon's gonna pop it's gonna pop no big deal seven cents eight cents down the drain try it again uh, but in this case because we're using so much of this or a little of this red we can you know get multiple uses out of this so anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this right to here and just make sure we get uh you know press it let's see I'm gonna have it be off the side not straight on top We'll see about right here. Looks pretty good. Okay. And now, let me push on the red too. There we go. Okay. So if it's lifted, you feel like it's like lifted off a little, you can definitely hold on to the red and you can pull on it a little bit actually. And that'll make sure it'll ensure that uh, the white balloon goes snug uh, sitting against the top of the head here, which is kind of cool. I think it came out pretty nice. Oh my God. Wow. There it is right there. We made it to the very end here. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you give this a try and put all kinds of different accessories on top of them using the same way. Remember, I have a link in the description below where you can go get yourself your own U-Glue dashes. Um, and I think they're a pretty good deal on those too. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go over to Teespring to get some of this merch so you can have your uh, balloon gear when you show up to your gear. It's looking kind of cool, you know? I wore this one today for mine, actually. I got, it's really fortunate. We had a fun, fun time. And so um, I'll catch up to you guys next time. Happy twisting, everybody. Bye.